back on the uh, descent. Hopefully, uh, Joe bed in the brakes for me. <laughs> Let's go. This is actually my second run of the day on the descent. The prior run, I was on the Vitas Dometer DH bike and also on a new proof Mega Enduro bike. I am gonna hit up the Black Tech Trails, starting off with Miles of Smiles, which I read someone call it Miles of Shit Your Pants. And it's aptly named Miles of Smiles because you just laugh like a maniac as you're riding through it. And I'm gonna ride the race course, Formula, OSC, and loose cannon. I repeat, the videos do not do these trails justice. Poor Phil was uh, not having a good time. Into the fucking rocks. Huh. Drop you right into the rocks, huh? Yeah. This is probably my favorite trail here from top to bottom. Oh, yeah. He ain't kidding with the sail. Good tree on that one. Here's the drop at Miles of Smiles. Looks bigger in person, but not too bad. Really freaking nose down on that one. Ah, I went super nose down. I didn't even try to unweight it, but I saw how steep the thing was. Hold on. Bent lever? This thing to get a leg down. needs to, I can't, I don't know where the fuck my multi-tool is. Oh man, that was scary, dude. That's so steep. I hit that tree right there. I, 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 that I, one. I went over the bars at like one mile an hour. Like I tried to stop and it just like, it took a little spill. If that tree wasn't there, I would have hit I really the ground running. Too tight today. But I can't. Find I was glad I had my chest protector. It's stuff. something that you are glad you have and hope to never have to use. My brake lever is bent a little bit. That's fine. That's what DH that is all about. Really, that big drop from the root, that I walked around that dude. That was. Crazy. It was like I went really, really, really. It's way steeper than it did look because it doesn't even look bad on film. But I was really like taking that thing half ass. I didn't even put the weight on the back of the bike. This is definitely, this 
it's harder than anything I've done on now. Right now, Joe's probably thinking I'm dead in the ditch somewhere. And he actually was. Resume. He was scared. He was calling my phone. Okay. Hop back on. Thank goodness for chest protector. Oh yeah, the levers are nowhere near the shape that they need to be. Gotta readjust. Gotta readjust the levers. Huh. I, I hit a tree and I had to do a mechanical repair. Oh shit, are you okay? Yeah, my lever got all bent out of shape. It's still bent. I mean, Ted, you could, you could roll down this axis road. Uh -huh. and take your right to do, uh, you know what? I'm gonna hit. I want to hit Ewok, man. Right. Seriously, yo. Let me see how these brakes feel. I mean, like, uh, yeah, because from Ewok is really not that gnarly, and I want to hit those jumps again, but not like send it to flat. I got the levers decently straight, but they took a hit. I had to replace their entire lever assembly. The body got completely deformed. The collar got bent. The bolt that holds everything in place is bent. Ooh. But I got it close enough, so I was able to ride the rest of the day. This is where I went off the last time. Oh my god, the flat again! Don't lose. My God. This is some proper ass chunk. Feel bad for Phil on his enduro bike. Lead the way. Um. Oh my god, it's so loose. Huh. Oh my god, almost went off to the right. I actually did not hit that. Okay. There's a there's a drop over here. I saw Joe hit it, but it was kind of it was kind of blind to me, so 
I didn't hit it. I'm gonna hit it now because I know what it looks like now. Uh, is it this uh, and go around or what? There is. You, you gotta walk it down. That drop looked too blind to me to hit it, to just trust you. Once I saw it, I was like, okay, it was nothing. Empire. All right, let's go. It gets pretty nice and low down. Cool. Let's go eat on the next rundown. Let's go. You ran out of battery. So many different lines you can take. Damn, there's like fucking sharp ass. Is it a loose cannon? I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself for stepping on a few of those drops that I normally would do without thinking. Huh. I guess not knowing where they are and not expecting them, plus the ground constantly moving under me, landing into a bunch of jagged rocks. But now I know where they are. I'm gonna make a goal to hit every single one of them the next trip out. Here I was using this jump as a speed check to see whether I had enough speed to do the road no, gap. And trip. I didn't really clear it, so I opted to abort. Huh. Apparently Damn. the road gap is supposedly 30 feet across. I don't think it's that long. It seemed at least 20 though. I tried squashing it, and I still almost landed my front wheel onto the knuckle. I don't know if I have to commit the next time to actually hit it. Joe might have to pull me in. On these step downs, I was actually compressing my rear shock enough for my back tie to rub against the back of my seat. I actually moved the seat further forward, and I'm still rubbing it. So I moved it again, and I think that seemed to take care of the issue now. I fixed out on the road gap. Yeah. I didn't feel I had enough speed. I fucking overshot it. Even just, but in hindsight, even just gently popping off, I like landed almost right at the knuckle with the, my oh, yeah. front wheel. You would have been okay, just pull up a little bit. Yeah, I, I went absolutely recklessly fast. Yeah, I actually rubbed the, uh, with the seat like three times on the step downs over there. Steep? <laughs> Steep? You literally see all the stuff like fucking... You see, like, this these concludes my run for the black trails I was able to hit around. today. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.